Enjoy the view from the sidelines. Score. Conversate. Enjoy myself. Party? Yeah, I think I've been to one of those when I was six. They had a clown. Party. <laughs> Hi, Edward, and friends of Edward. Hi. Hi. Step into my parlor. Zach, there this is, is the toilet, there is the drinks, there's the fun. Go. Zelda, what are you doing here? Well, hello to you too. I'm here with Edward, who knows Zach. By the way, this is Patricia, and that's Edward, that's Kyle, and Hi. that's my date. Um. Alcoholic. I'm Lainey, by the way. Zach's sister and Patricia's friend. Hi. And I'm sure that he just wanted to get you a drink before anyone else could. Look, he's getting two cups. Oh. Well, there you go, he's pouring a third. That's surely for you. Oh. Um. Mm -hmm. Would it be inappropriate to offer you a cheer up drink? Okay, Patty. Can I call you Patty? Let's get something to drink. And we'll go pad our noses. I'll show you the bathroom. It's over there. Of course, Patricia, my styling Yoda had to see that. These are not the dates you're looking for. Oh, I will. Sorry, I thought you were my date. Back for you. Hi Lainey, bye Lainey. What was that all about? Uh, she's waiting for Daniel. Oh, his honor guard should Prince Charming <laughs> first. And your princess? The ref getting a pumpkin carrot? No, but it's still early, right? Come in. Damn it, Andrew, where are you? Watch it! Patricia, consider it as always. Will, trying too hard as always. There's no such thing as too hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Edward, let me introduce you to Will. Oh, the famous ladies man. Indeed, good to finally meet you. I think I got a Trojan on my hard drive and I was hoping you could help me with it. But first, let me get myself a drink. Can't wait. You were saying? Uh, I was saying that Asimov himself spent 30 years trying in vain to refuse his own laws. Ergo... Concordantly... vis a <laughs> Yes. They did what? Yeah, I'll be ready. Guys, I gotta go. That was my boss. I gotta ride in and save the day. Pick up, pick up. Fucking voicemail. Hi, honey. I'm here at the party you promised to go to. You better get here like half an hour ago. Come on, you gotta meet Patricia. So you're the famous Daniel. Heard a lot about you already. Likewise, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Enchanté. Daniel, good to meet you. If you hurt my sister, I'll have to kill you. Gotta go, bye. Never mind him. I appreciate how protective your brother is of you. How about we find you something to drink and you code a place to lie around on its own? What are you doing? You're not leaving, are you? I have to go fix the internet. I'm sorry I can't stay longer. What? Now? Penny's not even here yet. The elders of the internet demand my presence. They've asked for me personally. Such an honor. Whatever. But you two are not leaving, are you? Well... That wasn't a question. Sit there, look amused. Edward, I'm gonna walk you out to see if Penny's here. What do you mean you can't make it? You promised, Andrew. Repeatedly. That's what you said the last time. And the time before that. I'm tired of your excuses. 
I'm having more of a relationship with your voicemail than with you. Well, what do you expect? Why are we even doing this? I don't know either. Maybe we should save us both the trouble. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Look, I hate to do this over the phone, but since we're apparently unable to meet in person, it will have to do. We're done. We're not here together. You got that right, you just brought us here. You can't deny his entertainment value. It's getting late, where is she? She'll show up, don't worry about it. Have you seen Lainey? Didn't really get a chance to talk to her yet. Maybe she's in the living room. Okay, I'll have a look. And do, don't worry, your girl is gonna show up. What a douchebag. Yeah. It's perfectly dry up in front. Yeah, bastard. What? Well, I know such guys. Just want to get into her pants. Stealing my lines much? I'm her brother. Never mind, I'm going outside for a bit. I'm coming with you to see if Benny's arrived yet. I really can't handle you right now. Go away. Well, and I can't handle being in there, so suck it up. What's deflated your ego? I wasn't even in there. Don't flatter yourself. You're not the only one capable of that. Wanna talk about it? Nah. Anyways, why aren't you in there, being the center of all attention? Do you want to talk about it? No. Yeah, I wanted a good party mood, but that's just a little too much, dude. Whoa! It's just a thing as I drop you. Yeah, wait. Good luck. Night! Ready? Not yet. Well, maybe you should distract yourself tonight and try another day. Hey! Weren't you with Edward before? Yeah, he had to leave. So you're all alone and you need a company? As it happens, so am I. So maybe we could end this evening together? Um... Seriously, you look like you could use some company. I sure do, so why the hell not? Because... Because she's here with somebody. Yeah, well, ladies' choice. Well, in that case, sorry. Fair enough. Thanks. Perfect timing. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> Little rough. Men are pigs. You know what I'm talking about. Men are useless. 
<laughs> Stupid. Unreliable. Useless. <laughs> and immature. Immature. Patricia, maybe you just go lie down in my room. Come on, honey. You can tell me what's wrong. Come on, sweet. Mark my words. Pigs. What a night. And by the way, you're living proof that not all guys are pigs. Too bad you're gay. Too bad, isn't it? Please let it be her.